도주셨구나요나는아예때내다이시키가안맞어뭐하나指揮官が他の子をじっと見てても、ラフィーは怒らない。うん。怒らない。The Nicholas is an elite destroyer from the Eagle Union, and together with Laffy, forms the Azalane Z Force. Much like Laffy, Nicholas is also known for being a sleepy head, but unlike Laffy, Nicholas at the very least tries to deny it. Nicholas is a drop only ship that can only be found in the third map of Chapter 9, which means you will need to do some farming to get her. And when I say farming, I mean real hard farming, much like the twin fox in the fox mines. Stats wise, Nicholas is a well rounded ship, and much like Laffy, she is a jack of all trades kind of ship. This means while she does not excel in one thing in particular, she is, however, decent on everything. Nicholas has 2,280 hit points, 132 points in firepower, 356 points in torpedoes, and 233 points in anti air. Nicholas has three initial skills available to her with the fourth one that can be unlocked by retrofitting her. Skill wise, Nicholas is a rather unique ship. Nicholas is pretty much the amalgamation of all the four starter destroyers. Her first skill is called the Nick, which is an inferior but improved version of Javelin's Javelin Raid skill. This skill has a 5% chance of activating every time Nicholas fires her main gun, and when activated, this skill increases her evasion by 40% and decreases the damage she takes from carriers by 40%, and the effect of this skill lasts for 8 seconds. This is a really nice skill to have, since Nicholas being a destroyer means that she is a really fragile ship and the evasion buff and damage reduction will surely help her survive longer in a fight. The only drawback of the skill is its rather low proc rate, which is typical with elite destroyers, that has a retrofit. Her next skill, which is called Full Firepower, is almost the same as Nemeza and Blood Vanguard skill, but with better proc chance in exchange of lower percentage buff. This skill has a 60% chance of activating every 20 seconds and when activated, this skill will give a 40% buff and firepower for Nicholas that lasts for 10 seconds. This skill also makes her a decent gunboat, especially if you consider her main gun gear efficiency. I know it's not the same skill as Nemeza and Blood Vanguard skill, but you get the picture. Nicholas has both an evasion and firepower buff. Now, what about the others? We will get to that in a bit but before that, we have to mention her standard skill which every vanguard type ship have, aside from collab ships. Her third skill is the all familiar all out assault, which lets Nicholas fire a barrage every time she fires her main gun 10 times. Like I mentioned earlier, Nicholas has a retrofit that when completed, will not only make her an SR ship with a shiny gold background, but will also unlock her retrofit skin where both of her eyes are open revealing her rather cute heterochromia. This alone for me makes retrofitting her well worth it. I mean, look at her. Look at Nicola's face. And tell me she isn't cute. I dare you. Anyway, where was I? Oh, right. Retrofitting Nicola also unlocks her retrofit skill called Battle of Killer Golf. This skill has a 70% chance of activating every 20 seconds and gives a 40% buff to her firepower, torpedo, and reload, which lasts for 10 seconds. Now you get the whole picture, aside from having an evasion buff and a firepower buff, Nicholas also has a torpedo and reload buff in addition to another firepower buff and yes, if you are lucky enough, you can stack the firepower buff from full firepower and battle of killer golf skill. Surely this skill is not as powerful as the individual buff that Laffy, Nimi, A Anime and Javelin gets from their skills, but Nicholas has access to all of the buff that the four starters get s from their skills, although with less effectiveness. Additionally, this skill also decreases the damage taken by a vanguard ship whose HP falls below 20% by 15%, and if the recipient of the effect of this is the light cruiser Helena, it also heals Helena's HP by 8%, making it a really nice all around support skill. All in all, the combination of Nicola's skills makes her the perfect jack of all trades ship because, unlike Laffy, who is also a generalist, Nicola s has access to buffs that lets her cover all fronts. From offensive to defensive and even support role to some extent. Now onto her gear. For her main gun, I recommend giving her either the twin 127mm Mark 12 dual gun, 
if you want a dual purpose gun or the single 138.6mm main gun NLE 1929, if you want a hard hitting gun, you can also snatch the twin 130mm main gun M2LM from Tashkent, if you have one. For her torpedoes, I recommend the quintuple 533mm torpedo for her, if you are playing on manual and the quintuple 533mm magnetic torpedo, if you are playing on auto. For her anti-air, I personally go with the twin 40mm Boffers Hazmir for added accuracy, since Nicholas is more of a gunboat. The Boffers Stag is also a good option, if you happen to have one to spare. You can also go with a quadruple boffers or the twin 105mm AA gun SKC. For auxiliary, I recommend the repair tools and fire suppressor to increase her survivability and help compensate with her squishiness. For fleet arrangement, it's best to pair Nicholas with a ship that has either artillery command destroyer skill like a Gano, Grenville or Sims or ships with artillery command vanguard skill like London or Newcastle. You can also put Nicholas together with Evrora for her Evolutsiya skill and either Akashi or Unicorn in the main fleet for their Reload Command Vanguard skill. Putting her on the same fleet as Helena is also a good option to take full advantage of Nicholas' Battle of Killer Gulf skill, and not to mention the usefulness of Helena's Radar Scan skill. Well then, that's it for this video and as always, everything here are just my suggestion and everyone is free to either use it or ignore it. Well then, I will see you guys around. <laughs>